The same way you have to take care of your body with the nutrition, you have to take care of your body from a recovery standpoint. So many guys are so used to these uh, Instagram trainers and nutritionists and these guys that are out there and they're saying no days off, no days off. Athletes, you have to rest. You have to take days off. Doesn't mean day off means you don't do anything, but a day off, instead of having going out there and squatting, bench, deadlift, running, conditioning, speed training, a day off could be you doing recovery, cryotherapy, right? Take care of your body, get inflammation down, hyperbaric chamber, oxygen into your body, compression therapy, get rid of the swelling and the inflammation in your body, um, chiropractic, massage therapy, um, cupping, scraping, whatever you have to do. When you're a professional and you're an elite athlete, not only are you training, but your days off, you're still working on your body. So no days off the slogan and the no days off hashtag and thinking kids need to work out every single day and do double days. All you're doing is tearing your body down. And you're not allowing it to grow, recover, or repair. So if you want to get taller, if you want to, uh, to, to get bigger, you want your muscles to grow, you have to sleep right? Every kid should be sleeping about eight to 10 hours a night. We need you to hit your REM cycle sleep, your REM cycle, your deep sleep. Um, so you're able to grow when you're sleeping. That's when your testosterone's raising. That's when your HGH levels raising. That's when your muscles are repairing itself. That's when you can hit your growth spurt. So we always tell kids in our program, if you're going to bed at 10 o'clock, but you have your phone on you, you're playing video games. By the time you really get to sleep is 12. Now you're tossing and turning throughout the night because uh, you didn't go to sleep immediately. You're playing on your phone. You might really only get six hours of sleep. If you're tossing and turning throughout the nighttime, that means you're really not in your deep sleep cycle which is where you grow, that's where you recover. So we want you to really sleep. Say you're sleeping eight to 10 hours, hopefully we can hit our REM cycle sleep at least six to eight hours. We want you to be able to sleep, we want you to recover, because that's when your muscles are able to grow, that's when you could literally grow, right? Get taller, that's when your muscles could repair. Um, and that's just from a sleep standpoint, but from an everyday standpoint, um, you have to take days off and you have to take care of your body. You could not make the, the club in the tub. And what that means is you can't make your team, you can't be a starter if you're always hurt because your body's breaking down because you have a no days off mentality and you're killing your body, right? Your biggest contribution to the team is your availability. Are you available at practice because the other guys who have the no days off mentality, they're hurt, they're pulling hamstrings, they have ankle injuries, they're not a addressing it because they're constantly trying to work harder versus working smarter. So you have to take care of your body. You have to recover. Some of your best workouts might be you doing flexibility, mobility, trigger point training, um, yoga, Pilates. Those could be some of your best workouts that you supplement out of your seven days a week. So maybe you work four days hard in the weight room and performance training and you do three days recovery, uh, flexibility training, trigger point training, crowd therapy, hyperbaric chamber, compression therapy. Those are still workouts. Those are some of the best workouts you'll ever get because you're taking care of your body, you're repairing your muscles and you're getting them ready to get back on the field and play at an optimal level. If you're constantly beating your body down and it's day one, day two, day three, day four, by the time we get to your Saturday game, your body is so broken down. We're only really performing at 50 to 60%. We want to break your body down and we want to build it back up through recovery, through stretching, through uh, uh, recovery, and recovery and flexibility. So by the time we get to a Saturday game, you're closer to 90%, 95%, where now your body's able to perform at the level you want to perform at. We want Ferraris, we want Lamborghinis, and you can't do that if you're constantly doing two-day workouts and you're tearing your body down and you're not sleeping right, you're not hydrating, you're not putting the proper stuff in your body and you're not taking care of your body. So the no day uh, mentality, that, that hashtag, that's the stupidest thing you could do. The first thing you're going to do in college in the pro, they're going to tell you to rest, recover, and go see your physical therapist. Go do treatment with your team. Get in the ice bath. Go get a massage. Those are things that you have to do to take care of your body to play at a high level.